Anybody else want pizza? Hi, welcome to the Food Court. I'm Courtney and I try out diet recipes so you don't have to. Today I really want pizza, so I'm gonna show you how to make a low carb crust. All right, this starts with two cups of rice cauliflower and you wanna get it as dry as you can. I used a paper towel and a colander to squeeze out the water. Next, you're gonna crack in two eggs and check me out with the one-handed action. Mix it all up. All right, next you're gonna add one cup of shredded cheese. You can use any cheese you like. I used a combination of mozzarella, Swiss, and Gruyere. Okay, we're gonna pour this out and shape it. I used a rectangular baking tray, so it was easier to get this into a rectangle. If you have something like a round pizza stone, you can try and get it into that circle shape if that's important to you. We're gonna pop this in the oven at 400 degrees for 15 minutes before we top it. Now that it's set, you can sauce and top it however you want. And it goes back in the oven at 400 degrees for another eight to 10 minutes. All right, you can see it holds together like a regular crust, but it's kind of eggy. Most bread substitutes on ketogenic diets are because they use eggs as a binder in place of gluten. Once you get all the toppings on it, it's fine, but if you're not meal prepping and you're just trying to have a pizza snack, I have a much easier way. Okay, this time we start with a flour tortilla that's low in net carbs. Is it the height of Mexican cuisine? No, but it serves our purposes here just fine. We're going to put some sauce and cheese on that and then whatever toppings we want. We're also gonna stick this in the oven at 400 degrees for eight minutes and it comes out looking like a personal pizza. Side note, you may wanna take this one off the parchment paper before you roll it so that this doesn't happen. And ta-da, it's a slice of pizza. Since the tortilla is made of flour, it does have a texture more similar to a real pizza crust. And it's really, really easy to make one of these for one person at a time. Although my favorite part is that the low carb tortilla I'm using is low net carbs because it's so high in fiber. My mom just sneezed off camera and now I'm trying not to crack up. The tortillas that I use are low net carbs because they're high fiber, which makes them even better in terms of macronutrients. And if you're not meal prepping, like I said, these are the easiest way to just get a piece of pizza in a few minutes. I'm gonna go finish this up. If you want more low carb content, you can find it in the food court playlist. See you next time.